Hi, welcome to Bright Hope Creations. I'm Kara, and today we're lighting up the lanterns because it's fiesta time. And we're going to use Year 10 and Harold's ABCs, My Son Ice, the Little Snowflake, the medium sized border from Lacey Borders, an outside in stitch circle stackable confetti from stitched balloon frames and the lantern and inside of the lantern and the doorknob from the mushroom house, bunting flags from the scallop box card pop-up and Oliver's stitched ABCs. The cactus is going to be holding some of those flags so I want to put the word time on here so first we'll just spell out Tim <laughs> And then we'll get the E a little later, but uh, this is cilantro and blue jay and fake tan cardstock. So I'm just finding the T, the I, and the M. I want to heat emboss this so that it shows up nice on the cardstock. So I'm going to use my anti static pad and then some clear ink, stamp, ink those up and stamp them out. And look, they all came with. <laughs> well, uh, that's why I put them into those frames. Uh, die cut that frame so that I could put those flags inside so I wouldn't have to figure out how to hold those. But now I sprinkled the white embossing powder on them and heat them up with my heat tool and finish off the word with an E. And I'm going to use that snowflake as a... A decoration not a snowflake so just kind of a decorative little star this is raspberry sugar plum and peacock cardstock and I'm going to use those six colors mainly for my fiesta and I'll make a bunch of flags with that little star detail on them I'll just keep that uh, cut out part in my misty and I can just put the flag in the middle one and stamp them out in the same place each time so I'm going to stamp up now this cactus in jet black ink because I will color him in Copics and stamp him down. And then he needs a little face too. And there are two faces that come with this stamp set. There's one, this one, and then one where he's winking. But I'm going to use the one with his eyes both open and color him up. And I'm using a YG01 to start and YG03 and then I'll blend that back up with the YG01. Darken things up with the YG05 and I even darken the bottom area up further with the YG07. I held off coloring the pot. I hadn't decided yet what color that would be so that's uh, gonna just be white for a little while. So I'm just blending everything back up into the lightest color and this guy is all set. And ready to be cut out with the coordinating die. And there he is. And here are his little banners. And I have just a little piece of uh, embroidery floss. I'll tie a little knot at the end and uh, put those flags on there. That way this little cactus will be part of the celebration holding the uh, end of the sentiment there. So I'm using these mini glue dots and they're the same size that you would use for the magic iris and they also fit very well inside these banners and I'm just overlapping it uh, on the string and then putting the glue dot inside and pressing them down and then I can still move the flags around on the uh, on the string until I have them where I want them. So I'm deciding where they're going to sit and I like it uh, right, right there. I don't want it to be absolutely perfect um, and then I can tie a little knot and I will adhere this banner to his little cactus arms with, with some glue dots. Just one on the E and one on the T. 
And once those are all set, I can put it in place, position that, and then he is looking all ready to throw a fiesta, except for his pot. We have to finish that. I'm going to clip off the uh, edges of the string just so they're not hanging out too far. And there he is, ready to go. I have a four and a quarter by five and a half inch piece of Blue Jay cardstock for the back. And this is how I'm using the outside in stitched circle and also the lacy borders on both sides of the white cardstock. And I'm spelling out the word fiesta in those fiesta colors that I chose. And I'm just going to glue them on with a glue tube. So putting them, I'm not even making sure they're straight ac across. I kind of want them to have kind of that uh, movement of a party. So they're a little more freestyle there. And then put on some of the confetti all around and this this is how I decided what color to make that pot because uh, I, I wanted to see what colors would be right near it and uh, thought we could go with this peacock or aqua color so it's a BG 45 and a BG 49 to color that up just darkening up the shadow areas this won't show too much so it doesn't have to be perfect but um yeah his little banners are gonna hang down over it but it'll be nice to have that little pop of well i guess turquoise color down there all right well he's looking sharp <laughs> all right put some adhesive on the back i'm gonna center him on the bottom get him right where he needs to sit Add some more confetti to the top part. And I'm just using that jewel picker to pick up the pieces and put them on where I put that little bit of glue. And with those little swirls, I just added a little glue onto the backs of them and pressed them down. So the front of the card, the white part, is all done. And it's time to start on those lanterns. And I'm just putting some glue on the back side of the lantern and then I cut out the back part of the lantern with some vellum. I'm gluing those on to each of the lanterns and I've been wanting to use these lanterns in a light up card for a while now and I just wasn't sure what I wanted to do but once this cactus came out as year 10 uh, I just got that idea and so here here we are in the making. So I'm going to put those lanterns and banners, position them where I want them inside that circle, and then right underneath where each lantern is, I'm putting, I'm marking it so that I will cut that part out. So there will be a way to get the light to shine through. And I'm using this doorknob from the Mushroom House to give me a big enough circle of light to shine through those lanterns. I'll run that through the die cut machine on each dot, and here we are. So now I want to get these uh, banners put together. So I'm doing the same thing with the glue dot inside the flag. And then I am just going to thread the lantern through the little string there. The reason for this design with the circle is that I wanted these uh, lights to be on dark cardstock. I thought they would show up a little bit more than if I just had these banners uh, going across on the white cardstock. And I kind of like the look of that circle there to to make them more of a, a focus, kind of like they're in the night sky hanging there. So now that I have uh, the last lantern on there, I'm going to put them over the holes with some glue so that the lantern is precisely over the opening because that's where that light's going to shine through. And just put some glue on each around each of the holes 
and then I will just pull that string so that everything is taut and we'll adhere that down in a little bit. And then I found it's easier if I just string up the lights and 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 then glue those down and then attach the banners on over the string after it's all set. It's a lot less to get in the way as they're as I'm trying to get them over the holes exactly. And now they're set and I can put on those banners. I put some glue dots under those banners just like I did with the ones on top. And now I'm gonna hide those strings underneath the white cardstock. I'm just kind of figuring out where I want to put some glue dots. So I'm using my pencil to mark that and I'll glue those down. With these glue dots, that string isn't gonna go anywhere. And I, I think this would be a fun design even if you weren't going to light up the card. Uh, just to have the lanterns and the banners uh, in there, the flags. And you can have a fiesta with, without the lights. This would be a, a fun birthday card or a Cinco de Mayo card. Or uh, in my case, I'm going to use it as a graduation card for my daughter. She is graduating high school and wants to be a Spanish education major. So I guess I could have even put a mortar board on that, uh, on the cactus, like uh, he's graduating. Well, I uh, put some adhesive on the white cardstock and I'm adhering that down to the main panel and that's all set. Oh, I, I've got to tuck these little strings in a little bit more. So I'm just putting the ends into the glue dot. And again, that's not going anywhere. So we're all set and I need a button to say push here. I was going to put it on that pot but decided it was uh, too busy down there. I didn't know if people would really see that and so I'm going to make it uh, a little more clear, put it up closer to where those lights are and it'll just be a big piece of confetti. So I'm stamping that with clear ink and I white heat emboss that and that's where it's going to sit on the card. I have a piece of white cardstock underneath and that's where I'm going to build up the lights. I'm putting a mark where the battery will be and then it's hard to see where those uh, lights should be from the front so I'm taking the back and marking them up and then put it up against a light again and then uh, marked it on the front. I hope that makes sense, but this is how it looked at the end. And with this little piece of printer paper, I'm going to house the battery with the negative part on the bottom and the positive on top. Now, here's where I make a mistake. The fold should be going the way I initially had it, but we'll just move on. So I started where the negative part of the battery would be, and then with this tape, I'm just moving it along uh, where those little dots are. And now when I am turning a corner, I turn it the opposite way first to get it to then be uh, moving the way I want it to go. It kind of gives it uh, a way to sit on itself so that it keeps that nice connection. So this will be, I'll make sure that uh, the negative part of the lights will be on the negative track. Of this and I'm using a bone folder to kind of uh, make sure that it's nicely adhered down and now here's here's what not to do <laughs> when you're putting one of these together uh, this was my first time so uh, okay I started on the opposite side then for the positive I should have started at the battery side and instead I started at the end and went towards the battery and you'll see soon why it, it didn't work so well for me. But uh, again, I'm just going on another track and this is the opposite side of those circles so that I can have a positive part. All right, I put it on the top of the paper. So now it's closed. And now how am I supposed to get in there? Well. <laughs> 
I just snipped it off and tucked it in so it's on the top part of that paper. So, you know, we, we figure these things out kind of, sometimes the hard way. Now, if I had the fold on that side, it would just go up and over. It, it would have been better if the battery was a little further away so I could have more room for the tracks. But meanwhile, I will put the, the little Chibitronic lights on and there is a positive and negative side. So the pointy side is negative and the base of this triangle is uh, positive. And there's little symbols on there too. And I don't know, five lights. I just felt like I needed at least five lanterns to make this uh, an exciting card for graduation. And so I'm using five lights and let's see how they work. I'm put, all right, one's not working. So I'm just moving it, making sure, and there, they all work. So it's a nice connection. And now I want to house that with some uh, foam tape so that the battery doesn't slip out anywhere. But uh, back to my mistake. Uh, so were you one of those people talking to me through the screen saying, no, not that way. <laughs> kind of like watching a horror movie and saying, don't go in there. Well, just consider it your adrenaline rush for the day. Well, all right, back to the card. So I put on one layer of foam tape and now I'm going to put another layer to build that up and I'm going to put the entire uh, front panel on foam but this this is a thicker foam that I have uh, it's a craft foam and I'm just deciding where to cut it so that uh, you can see the lights and that it kind of works around that little housing that I created for the battery and actually going to use uh, two pieces of foam this thick one and then I have a bit of a thinner one and that that built it up to just the right height so that uh, you could put the panel on top and the battery won't get pushed down until somebody pushes it down so I'm using double-sided tape to uh, adhere that just taking off that release paper and now I can put that around my lights and then I'm going to do that again with the thinner piece of foam and so it's it's a thick card but this one's uh, not going in the mail and even if it did it's it's pretty well housed in there so I don't think there would be any problems with it and I'm being very careful to get this top panel on straight uh, right onto that double-sided tape and then time for that little button. So I just put a little adhesive on the back of that and I have a four and a quarter by five and a half inch side folded note card and I'm putting some adhesive on the card itself and I'll place the whole panel on top of that. Just make sure that it's straight up and down and it's ready to go. And there's the lights. Yay! Fiesta time! And meantime the cactus decided to sprout a flower. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video today and it encouraged you to make a fiesta on a card too. Have a great day and thanks for watching. Bye.